Do you like to make a lot of annual planters? Well, I'm here to show you how to make your own soil and save a little money. I'm Helen Muntz, USU Extension Garden Expert. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own soil. Let's start by looking at our ingredients. First, we have some perlite. Next, we have coconut core. This is a nice, soft, medium. It's basically a shaved coconut husk. And lastly, some regular potting soil. You can buy all these three ingredients in bulk and mix your own soil. So what we want to do is we want to use equal parts of each type of medium. So I'm going to start with my regular potting soil and I'm going to fill it with one gallon of soil. So this is a gallon pot filling up and I'm going to mix it here in this bucket. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump it here. Next, I'm going to take one gallon of coconut core. You can also do this in a large garbage bin if you're doing it in large amounts. Okay, so that's about a gallon of coconut core there. And lastly, one gallon of perlite. Add the perlite. And then we simply mix it up. If you're doing it in a large garbage bin, you can use a shovel. If you're doing it in a smaller container, and just use your hands. Best to do it outdoors, it gets a little dusty with the perlite. And you continue doing the cycle, one gallon for each medium. Now if you're doing large containers, like this one, you can also save on some of that soil volume by filling it up with old recycled plastic containers. I've got an apple juice container here, for example. You can also use some of these old potting containers that might be warped or broken to help fill up some of that soil volume. And then you have a lot less soil to fill. I prefer using old plastic rather than rocks in case you have to move your container. And then you simply fill it up with soil. We'll have to mix a little more to fill this up, but once we do, we're ready to plant. For more gardening tips, visit gardening.usu.edu. Thanks.